million dollar price tag is in the works in one New Mexico school district. Rio Rancho wants it to become the coolest preschool in the state. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with what will make it so special. Kim, the campus for three and four year old has a lot of cool features, including a lab specifically for science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics. Educators in Rio Rancho are hoping to change the way kids learn. If there is a gap in learning that we can help these students give them additional experiences and then they can be prepared. And they're starting with the district's youngest students and a brand new Shining Stars preschool. I think that you can really tell when kids are going starting kindergarten which ones have gone to preschool and which ones haven't. They need as much learning as they can get. Last month, the district broke ground on a new building for Shining Stars, the only public preschool in the district. It will replace the aging building they've been using, which is an old elementary school. It was not really designed to be a preschool. The new campus will be divided into four sections and feature fine and gross motor skills areas, a trike track, sensory garden, and a steam lab for math, engineering, and science. It's one of a kind, I think, in, I would say almost in the southwest. District leaders say they hope to create an environment that better serves kids' cognitive, social, and emotional needs. And many of these students uh, have disabilities, and some students are actually behind. So you want, they haven't had these experiences, so you certainly want in the pre-K students to have those experiences and sort of close the gap preparing them for kindergarten. While it's a costly building. Well, how do you put a dollar figure on a student who's successful in life? Parents say it's exactly what the district needs. What you're doing for these preschools, it advances them in their learning. It's going to be a shining star, literally, for our community. The building is set to open in August of next year. It can hold up to 625 students, but the way it's designed allows them to add on in the future. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Now, the money for the preschool was approved by voters in a bond election in 2016.